So here we have a problem, and we're looking at a species that's extinct, and we have a definition of it. Um, it's only extinct when it no longer has any living members. So extinct means that there are no living members. So that's going to be a useful tool. It's an equality statement, almost like an equation. Well, I guess it is an equation. And ex extinct equals no living members. So as we look through our, this problem, it talks about scientists who thought that fish species X was extinct. In 1980, a fisherman caught a living member of species X. This species is now known to live in large numbers in the near freezing water of the North Atlantic Ocean. So they thought that this fish species X was extinct. But in 1980, a fisherman caught a living member of the species, which means it definitely was not extinct. Because if an animal becomes extinct, it's gone. There are none of them left. So in 1980, if a fisherman caught a living member of the species, well, then there had to have been some of them left, not none of them. And that's what they're asking us here, which is based only on the information above, only what we're given, which of the following statements is a valid conclusion? If we look at these choices carefully, we find out that really F is the only choice that makes sense, which says that species X was never actually extinct, because, again, if it was, then there would be none of them left, and you wouldn't find them. All of these other ones don't really make sense. For example, I'll go over G. If species X was extinct and then reappeared in 1980, you have to ask yourself, well, how would it reappear if there were no species to reproduce? In other words, if there were zero of them, if they were actually reproduced, who was making this new fish later on that was caught by the fishermen? And that will go for the rest of these. All of them have logical holes and are not logical, so only F makes sense.